Hey guys, it's Vic Merck with Team Linguish. Back again with Mr. Joseph Sassy. What did you What did you do today at the Jacksonville Regional? I got seventh place with Penelope Magicians again. Okay. Well, we don't really need too much explanation. The deck didn't change all that much with the promos. The side mainly changed, but. All right. Uh, three corner, three arm, three wisdom. And of course, the one brick over there. Two purple, two the black thing, two of two dragon pit. I didn't play the Endymion. Um, in testing, it lowers your resource cap because Wisdom Eye is like a theoretical plus two with the Elf Dragon. It adds back, gets a level four body, does all that. And the Endymion kept breaking. I'd get Ash or Ogre on it and just lose. And the overall engine also lost the Colossus and Droll. So I just decided to stick with this. If they Nibiru'd me, they Nibiru'd me. Uh, two Dark Worm, two Donut. Um, I mean, three Dark Worm, two Donut. That's all the Penal Monsters. Nothing changed. For non pendulums we still played three bird and this. Uh, I did stop the beer one time when I had this this pen summon it. The guy didn't use it. He should told me after the game, but it was really strong. Bird is uh, overpowered. Uh, same spell lineup. Three shrine foolish. Uh, three allure. Three desires. Three pen call. Three call by the grave. Even though Nibiru was in the format, no one I expect to be main decking it or Dark Rule no more. So the main deck was fine for game one. So this was really important because of standalone hand traps like Thunder, Ash. How many in the main? Uh, 43. Same All right. as before. Same as before. And then, uh, I guess I'll go next turn. Uh, Electromite, Guard Dragon Engine. I changed one thing to add Beat Cop. If I got Nibiru, then gives me the token. Lambda can't use the token to make a link, so I just threw her in over Lambda in case I did, did get Nibiru. Warload, uh, Boral Sword. Uh, this came out versus Orcus. I stole his Degreesu, which had a skeleton underneath it, and he couldn't have any plays for next turn. This killed a lot of people. Uh, Vortex, uh, the two XYZs. Never regretted it, used the combo a lot to summon out Dark Worm. Two Synchro Seven still. In this. I didn't play Appalooza because the only way you make Appalooza is you make Electromite, send Cornograph, summon two more bodies, and you're on your fifth summon then. So if you get Nibiru, you still lose. Did he, did he get seven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the things that changed about my side deck is I took out the three Danko and threw in three Secret Village. Versus Striker, it's the same thing, but it also you side in going first to stop Nibiru. Not Nibiru, sorry, Dark Girl no more. And against some other decks, it just completely floodgates them out like the mirror. These six. Uh, I didn't want to play Nibiru. If I drew as my six, I hate everything about my life. <laughs> so we just play the cards you can draw off your allure and desires to break boards. Evenly for back row, combo. And then the last three cards were the sided dweller. And then I decided to side one and one. So the player on Dark Ruler, because you can't always see this, but Electromite can get you to this to set this. And that was basically it. This was alright. The Secret Village was insane. That's never really it. Well, that's good that you got another top eight finish. Uh, any shout outs today? Uh, Jacksonville, Yu Gi Oh! community, Vortex Cards and Games, cool stuff, uh, games, Jacksonville, uh, all the people I play with daily and help me grind and get better as a player. Shout outs to all of them. Uh, besides that, not uh, really. Uh, right. It was a good event, I enjoyed myself. Alright, guys, that's Team Linguist signing off. See you guys.